breakpoint phenomena. The breakpoint, or point where free chlorine residuals predominate, is determined by chlorinating a series of water samples by an increasing amount and determining the chlorine residuals in each sample. The chlorine residual is then plotted against the amount of chlorine added for each sample and the point at which the break occurs is determined from the plotted data. Reactions at zones 1, 2, 3, and 4. Zone 1. Chlorine is taken up by a reducing agent such as iron, manganese, clay, and silt. Chlorine reacts quickly with the substances often found in untreated water such as iron, manganese, clay, and silt, these reactions occur first and amount to a significant part of the chlorine demand. Turbidity reduces the efficiency of the disinfection process, dramatically increases chlorine demand, and can harbor pathogenic diseases. Zone 2. Chlorine comes into contact with organics and ammonia forming chlororganics and chloramines. These are also known as trihalomethanes, TTHMs, or haleacidic acids, HAA5, which are also formed in this zone. Zone 3. Chloroorganics and chloramines are partially destroyed. A minute amount of nitrogen gas is given off during this phase. And zone 4. Breakpoint. Beyond this point, free chlorine is formed. Some chloramines remain as combined residual. The reaction between water and chlorine is the last reaction that takes place as water is not very reactive.